Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let me show you how to filter rows and columns in Numbers. So in Excel, one of the things you can do is you can filter your rows and columns uh, so it doesn't show them all at once. You can do the same thing in Numbers, but you won't find it if you search for Filters. It's simply just hiding rows and columns. Let me show you. So here I have some sample data in a simple table here in Numbers. Um, if I select any row here I can go over and see that there's a button here I can click on and I can do things like adding a row, uh, deleting this row. I can also hide the row. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to hide row number 9. You're going to see it disappear. And there you can go see it goes from 8 to 10. Now notice at the bottom here I have a total and that didn't change. That was 124 uh, before I hid the row. So the numbers are still being calculated. I've just simply hid that one. I can select multiple ones. Say I want to hide like a whole section here and hide selected rows. Notice also that I can select any row here and unhide all rows or just unhide uh, the rows that are adjacent to the one I have selected. Now though it doesn't make sense for this table right here I could also uh, click here on the column heading and I can hide the selected columns. So if I had some extra columns here, uh, let's see, I can select that one. You can see I can do it now. It doesn't make much sense, but it does make a lot of sense in a lot of spreadsheets where you have all sorts of uh, columns of data and you don't want to focus on just one or two. You don't want to delete them, so you just hide everything that you're not using at the moment. So here's a different spreadsheet, and this is population data for each state. So say I wanted to just Look at the states that had over a certain population. Uh, I could easily do that by uh, selecting the table, bringing up the reorganize panel there, and then let's say let's choose the population column. You see it uses the proper name since I have a header row there. So population uh, is greater than, and let's then give a number like 5 million. And then you can see it will then filter it out and just show me those states there where the population is at. I can, of course, set it to uh, uh, is greater than, is less than, in between, uh, all sorts of different things. All the rest of the states are there, but I've just filtered out to see the ones that I want. And you probably notice there the plus button, which means I can add more criteria. So if I've got things I want to match in multiple columns, I can add that and only show the rows that match all the different criteria for all the different columns that I want and really narrow down what I want to be able to see in that table. So I hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.